welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. This is our miniature horse, Teddy Bear. He is uh, going to be 10 months old on the 28th, the last day of this month. And as you can see, for those of you who follow my journey, this is a new halter. This is his new training halter that I bought for him. And it's just a little bit long right here, but it fits him very well everywhere else. And uh, I want to show you something. Ah, ah. I want to show you something. Let me just, I've been tucking this little end in right here once to keep it out of the way. But for those of you who have been following me, you know that this little guy is going through a stage where he is mouthing everything and trying to bite. Well, he chews on Salem's mane. He had chewed Salem's mane, which part of this is normal foal behavior, but I do not want this foal biting at me. And he started nipping at me when I would try to brush him. He was constantly when I would try to lead him. And I learned a new method that's worked very well. In fact, I've only just tried it today and he's already almost a completely different little foal. Now I'm sure I'll have to keep reinforcing this. But basically the idea is if he reaches around when I'm brushing him to try to nip at me or bite at me, or if I'm walking with him and all of a sudden he turns his head to try to nip me, part of that is because that's what foals do when they play with other foals or other horses. I am not a horse, I don't want him doing that to me. So basically what I've done is if he starts to try to bite me, I do not strike him or even yell at him. I get in front of him and I say back. make him move his feet back and I've worked a lot with backing and walk up now I don't want to do that too many times right now because he's being very good whoa stand now I'm going to try picking up his feet sometimes he will try to kind of reach around and I don't want him doing that so I'm going to stand this way I don't have anyone holding him and of course I'm making sure I don't have this wrapped around my hand which I don't what and he's being very good right now. He's letting me pick up his foot here. And as you can see, for a second, he started to sniff me and remembered that if he starts to try to nibble on me, I'm gonna back him up and make him move his legs. And I'm going to show you, I'll pick up his hind foot. I, I always check for his head to see where his head is. And I don't want him reaching around at me. Foot, Teddy. Foot. Good boy. Very good, very good boy. Very good boy, that's a good boy, yes. Yes, very good. That is how I have been working with him and I have noticed a tremendous um, improvement in, with him because I don't like um, poking at his nose. There's different thing, ways you can work with him. I did try one where you kind of gently kick their lower foot but he was just, it was just escalating with him and nothing was working but this method so far has worked very well. So I think that's it for this update for this week. Um, if you'd like to follow my journey, I do not claim to be a trainer. This is my personal experience in raising this little fella here. Some of my videos will be entertaining and funny. I do will occasionally post short videos. Um, most of those, they may be an exception, but most of those will be little funny ones. Um, I am hoping this week to, Teddy loves to play and I actually bought a uh, toy bowling kit, um, not bowling kit, bowling set, and I'm going to try letting Teddy try bowling in the little pasture here. That will probably be in my next video coming up, but if you'd like to follow my journey, please um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click like, and I will see you in our next update. Take care. I hope you have a great week, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.